Hello everyone. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to be talking about how to remap the pad buttons and make use of them on the Arteria keyboard. Um, so the nice thing about the script is that it allows you to remap um, any of these uh, pad buttons and you can remap them to either a single note from any bank to a sequence of notes from any of the banks. You can even change banks while recording. Um, and it'll, you know, also play back the, um, the, the notes from the other banks. Um, you can play chords, uh, you can play sequences, you can play patterns, you can play very long, um, lengthy durations. I don't recommend it, um, but, you know, it's, it's uh, very flexible and up to you. Uh, and the nice thing is that whatever you record in here, um, they do save into the project. And the way they're saved is it actually goes into the naming of the C channel in the mixer track. Um, so if you ever, you know, record a mapping and you right click and you look at the name, um, you know, of the C channel, you'll see the mappings that are written out um, and do not edit it unless you want to mess up your mapping. Um, you can clear it if you want to delete the mapping from the project file, but, um, you know, um, try leaving it alone. Okay, so how do we remap a button? Um, so the recommended way, and let me put on headphones first, uh, the recommended way to do it is to hold the record button down. And let me zoom in so you can see, is to hold the record button down and then press the uh, pad that you wanna record. So let's do that. Um, and now it's gonna start flashing, okay? So, uh, you know, it's not recording anything until the first note is pressed. And once the first note is pressed, then all the timings um, following the second and third notes are remembered. Um, but if you know if it's only one note press, um, there won't be silence. You know between for for that, it, it won't record the the silence after the last note. Um, okay, so let's map um, you know this one to a kick, right? And I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, and then to stop it, uh, I just press the stop button. Okay, um, and then you can hear it to play it back. It's just to do, just to press the button, actually. Oh, uh, I have... okay, um, let me do that again since it probably just when it wasn't selected. Um, okay, so let's uh, remap the first button. Okay, and there we go. And then we can press it to play back. Okay, so that's working. Um, and then the second one, I want to map it to a clap. So let's do that one. Okay. Yep, that sounds good. And then this third one, let's do like a sequence from multiple things. So let's uh, record this third one. And let's see if I can do this fast. Okay. So when I press that, it's gonna play all three of those notes. Right, okay. So that's that's how you remap a button. Um, and then, um, you know, if you save it as a project, you can open it and it'll restore the, the mappings back to the keyboard. Um, okay, so that's it for now. And, you know, quick recap again um, to record to remap a, uh, a a button, you hold the record button and you press the button, and it'll start flashing. If it's already if there's already something in it, you can re-record it again. That's cool, um, you know. And then press any of the the keys that you want to record, um, and then to stop, you know, you press the stop button, and you know that's that's it. All right. Thank you.